Hey guys, it's Josh, and today I just really wanted to cover real quick Leap. Really just a side part that people seem to be missing. With the old Zoic setup, you needed to have the Zoic plugin or name server setup for integration, but the plugin has been repurposed now instead of an integration plugin. It actually is a part and parcel of leap and it's what actually helps you uh, make sure your cache and your stuff is updated when you publish a new post for example there's been a lot of people complaining about not seeing their home page update once they've published something and that their post is missing but it's not missing the plugin is actually controlling that and it's supposed to be configured by you so that it knows when you publish that it's supposed to flush the cache but many people seem to have missed that portion. So let's jump in. All right, so here we are inside my Pro Blogger Income website. And what you'll see here is the Ezoic plugin is actually here. So inside the Ezoic plugin, it's actually tied into your account. So it's gotta be set up for this so that it knows to flush it. So what you'll wanna do is go grab the install for Ezoic and install it. And then when you go into the settings, you'll actually see there's the CDN section, and inside here is where you need to go get your Azoic API key. This is what allows the plugin to automatically do what it needs to do to flush your cache for you. And then you'll also want to actually make sure you turn on the recaching so that when a page or post is changed, it automatically reflushes it and rebuilds it, and then purge the home page whenever a post is made. So you'll want to set up those no matter what. And the API key you'll actually get inside Azoic itself. So what you'll want to do is jump into Azoic. And inside Azoic, the API, if you're, if you're interested in finding out, you can actually load the plugin and actually click on the API key here. And it'll launch you. And you go over to into settings. And you'll actually see API gateway. And if you haven't installed it, you'll actually get the option to enable the gateway. I've already actually enabled it. So when you go to the app, it will actually provide you the API key. And you can um, regenerate the key um, in case anybody should see it or get a hold of it that shouldn't have it. Or if you are having a problem with the current one not working. And what you do is you come back into here and you're going to put that inside this field. For your API key and then you're going to want to turn this on turn this on and you want to put in that domain and then save settings and then the Azoic plugin will be functional for you so it manages all the flushing but it also does a lot of the background checking and management for leap so people have been skipping it but it's actually not a good thing to necessarily skip because you are losing out on tools that can actually make sure your website's running how it's supposed to be running. But I just wanted to go ahead and jump in and show you guys those things. Um, the reason why people see that now more than before is with Leap, the um, cache age used to just be 24 hours, but for you to get all the benefits of the speed, like uh, gaining those 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 cache hits, which is in typically a second to two seconds faster load time for you. You want to serve the cached file for as long as you can. So the cache settings inside here, you go into side speed and go all the way to the bottom, and you'll actually have the cache settings. So inside the actual cache settings, you're going to see this default cache age is going to be set here now, which is 19,200, which actually, if you convert, is 28 days. So your cache age for your website is set for 28 days before it's going to rebuild the cache unless you update something and force it via that plugin to rebuild it for you. So I just wanted to really quick cover that because a lot of people have been having problems with their caching and I figured this is a really straightforward thing. You just have to know it's there and know you need to have it set up. And a lot of people have been avoiding the plugin because they thought it was only related to uh, 
getting yourself integrated with uh, Ezoic, and that's no longer what that plugin does. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you later.